Hi Cancer, how's it going? Welcome to January 2020. Now don't forget to check the big horoscope overview on the, the main part of the playlist. And this month, Cancer, um, well first of all there's going to be a full moon and a lunar eclipse in Cancer. <laughs> So that's always fun. Um, and, and so this is about illuminating everything. And if you watch the big uh, reading I did, you'll, you'll understand a little more about that. And then on a more personal level, this is a month where your faith is going to be tested. Your faith in yourself, your faith in other people, and your faith in religious and spiritual ideas. Um, because there's probably some stress coming and it's a result of a lot of things happening you know the new year is stressful every day is stressful really like <laughs> who are we kidding right um, so this is a time to really make sure your communication is very clear with other people because cancers you know when you get stressed out or angry or whatever sometimes you retreat into your shell which is why you're a cancer and um, people may misunderstand that also cancers have quirky senses of humor and some people misunderstand that as well and then of course some of you are just blunt and sarcastic boom <laughs> and there's no misunderstanding that but you might upset some people so this month really focus on your communication uh, see if you're communicating uh, with people that that they're understanding what it is uh, you're doing what you're trying to do are you uh, putting across the message that you intend to put across or is it not quite working now uh, to go a little further since I'm a writer I know a lot of cancer writers and you know this is romance daily news which is a writing you know books and stuff so again a lot of you writers um, you may find you have difficult times with publishers or maybe some of you are caught in some of the publishing scandals that happened earlier this year or you're still working through the romance the RWA situation so you, you may be feeling a little unsettled with all of that scuttlebutt too because we're looking at the horror and the romance uh, genres right now that you know from October to now are just woo everything's up in the air and this can be super unsettling especially for a sign like cancer and especially if you had books involved in any of these situations you may now be trying to figure out what you're going to do with these books or if you should pull them or not pull them or um, are they lost in the shuffle and you might be worrying about these sorts of things too so really um, use that full moon lunar eclipse energy on I believe it was the 10th yeah January 10th to really figure out your game plan of how you're going to salvage things um, and all that because I'm pretty sure it wasn't you <laughs> that caused all this but you do have to think about your careers and how you're going to move forward with your projects and how to suss things out and I know for a lot of us who've been burned before Lord knows I've been with several publishing houses that have collapsed and it can be really hard to uh, really get motivated again to pursue something new because it's oh, is it just gonna is it all for nothing is it gonna fall apart again so a lot of you may be having these types of ideas so don't get stagnant worrying about uh, collapses and stuff do the best you can communicate the best you can do your due diligence and that's all you can do and don't shy away just keep putting your stuff out there and uh, just like I said just make sure you're not having miscommunications with people and everything should work out really well for you because this is a very powerful year but like I said some of us in the publishing field might be feeling a little unsettled and uh, that's normal considering what we've all just been through <laughs> so anyways have a great uh, uh, year have a great month and we'll see you in February